ओके नो वी विल प्रिपेयर जक्स्टा पोजिशन डायग्राम थ्रू अ क्रॉस सेक्शन बिल्डिंग एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल प्रिपेयर अ डायग्राम ऑन दिस मैप फ्रॉम ए टू बी विच इज सेंट्रल क्रॉस सेक्शनल लाइन फ्रॉम सेंटर ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर एंड वी कैन प्रिपेयर दिस डायग्राम्स एंड क्रॉस सेक्शंस एंड चेक द जक्स्टा पोजिशन ऑन दीज प्रोफाइल लाइन्स सो डैट वी कैन चेक द लेटरल जक्स्टा पोजिशन ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर एंड सेडिमेंट्री बेड्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल बिल्ड क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड जक्स्टा पोजिशन डायग्राम ऑन दिस सेंट्रल क्रॉस सेक्शन लाइन डेट इज फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ए टू B. So this is the cross-sectional line, and let's start. Uh, for this, uh, you need to uh, copy of this map, and you will draw a cross-sectional line from A to B. Then you need a graph paper. So first of all, and post this data on the graph paper. So uh, the the first line is here, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then we have. for plane then these are other contour values so we will write here the values of these 3200 3400 30 uh, i think this is 3300 34 35 36 37 okay this is 3300 3400 3500 3600 okay then on the other side of the plane we have 36 now you have uh, just transported the data from this uh, contour map to graph paper for cross section building now we will uh, use graph paper for this purpose just uh, you will uh, prepare a vertical scale here vertical scale will be uh, you know that uh, your values uh, range from 3300 to 4300 so we can prepare a, a graph paper a scale from i think we can prepare from 3000 to 4500 here a cross section from 3000 meter to 4500 meter okay this is 3000 meter 3100 500 36 37 38 39 and 4000 41 42 43 44 and Forty five hundred. Okay. Now uh, we will use these points and just post a uh, mark mark the uh, points on the uh, scale here. So okay, forty three hundred is here. So we can draw forty three hundred. Forty one hundred will be posted here. Four thousand is here, so we can project it on its actual position. Then thirty-nine hundred. These are actual points. Okay, thirty-eight hundred. Then thirty-seven hundred. Then thirty six hundred. Okay. Now we can join these points. Okay. Now uh, we will use uh, these points on the other side of the plane, and uh, then we will uh, project these points in the subsurface. Thirty seven hundred. 
okay this is the position and 37 is uh, somewhere here okay 3600 somewhere here. 300 and so on and this is our B point so we can join these points and this is oh uh, this is our fault plane so fault is here so this block has moved with respect to this fault like this okay this is a cross-sectional line okay further we will prepare uh, uh, we will uh, prepare for the uh, juxtaposition diagram okay uh, from our uh, lithological column we have uh, certain data and uh, we have prepared a uh, top of the reservoir uh, for example it's uh, reservoir X and this is the top of the reservoir and uh, uh, we have uh, 100 meter of thickness uh, of this reservoir and uh, this is the top of the reservoir uh, on the top of the reservoir we have 200 meter shale and uh, at the bottom of the reservoir we have 300 meter shale so uh, we will uh, post this data also on the cross section okay let's check uh, we have uh, 100 meter thickness of the reservoir so 100 meter thickness is uh, equivalent to one box okay so we will just use uh, this uh, paper and uh, take 100 meter okay and then we can just following the dip of the top of the razor wire we will just draw some points and then after joining the points we have a thickness of sand bed so again following the dip of the reservoir top drop points just follow the trend we you will uh, draw this thickness just uh, 90 at the 90 angle of the top of the reservoir line so after drawing these all these points you will join these points here and now you have a thickness of the sand bed you have sand here this is sand bed we, we will use same method and draw 200 box now uh, just use these two points of 200 meter thickness and draw points on the top of the reservoir join these points like this this is sand another side on the top of the reservoir and football okay uh, now we will draw same thickness on the other side of the four plane and you will prepare like this and this is same, same shell bed, shell beds now from here you can check that if if this sand is uh, juxtaposed against shale then this fault plane here can provide a seal so hydrocarbon will trap here so this is the way you can check the juxtaposition of um, reservoir in the trap and 
you can prepare from um, these uh, structure maps a juxtaposition cross section and uh, you can prepare multiple cross sections from this uh, contour map and check the lateral continuity of this seal